you guys, this is Melissa, and in this video, I am going to show you how I collect work samples from Edmentum to use as work samples um, for compliance. So the first step of this process is to log into Edmentum, and um, this process typically for me starts on the first couple days of the LP. So as I see students start to work and submit assignments, I'm do, I'm collecting work samples throughout the LP. That makes it easier at the end of the LP when you have to complete compliance. If you already have a bunch of work samples pulled and uploaded into the SIS, it just makes it a lot easier. So actually right now, this is um, this like second or third day of LP2, and I already have a lot of kiddos submitting a bunch of work, so I am gonna start pulling some work samples. Um, and this is the Edmentum Sensei. When you log in, you can really, you can see who's submitting work. So this is typically where I start. Um, so I'm gonna start with this student, Serena Harding. She's working in one specific class. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go to her account, and I will pull up that specific class that she's working in, which in this case is psychology. So um, I know that she's working in psychology, so I click on her psychology class. And then typically, um, you know, you, you definitely want to choose a work sample that was completed during this LP. Um, and I know just based on looking at the Sensei that uh, this consciousness assignment was one that she completed actually today. So what you'll do is you'll click on this view button, uh, which is the computer with the magnifying glass in it. So you'll click on that. Once you do, you're going to take a screenshot of the screen. Um, I typically don't like to use incorrect answers. So since this first question is incorrect, I'll go to one that is correct. Um, this one looks a little better. So I use the snipping tool on my computer to take a screenshot. Um, so I'll take this screenshot. I always make sure that I have the name of the assignment as well as the full question in it. Um, and that is what I screenshot. So I right click, click copy. And then I'm going to open Microsoft Word. Um, I typically have Microsoft Word open all of the time with this particular um, document pulled up, which I just reuse. So um, I'll paste her screenshot in there. I will make sure the score is correct. In this case, her score was an 80, so I can just leave that. Um, and then I will save this document as a PDF. So I will click Save as Adobe PDF. I will click Yes. Now, all of my students um, are uh, have files in my Google Drive um, based on their name. And then under their names, I have the different LPs, which is where I store all of their work samples. So I'll click on Serena, um, and then I will click on the LP that it is for, uh, and then I will name it. Um, I have my own naming conventions. I use uh, last name, first name, um, and then what LP it is, which work sample it is, and then the class. This just makes it easy when I'm uploading it into the SIS. Um, so this is what I'm going to name this. And then it usually automatically opens in uh, in Adobe, and that's fine. So I'll just minimize that for now. Once uh, the work sample is created, um, and saved into my, my drive, I then will go to uh, the SIS. Now, when I'm in the SIS, you're going to navigate to teachers, and then you're going to click on compliance. Under compliance, you're going to click on this archive button right here. Okay, and this is where you will upload all of your work samples. Um, the only things you need to worry about here is uh, to select the range, which is uh, specifically the LP. So we're working right now on LP3. So this is LP3. Um, we are going to click work samples here. And then um, include students with, you have to choose the second one or without archive reports. And then you're going to generate this report. 
So once this report is generated, you will select the student that you're working on. So I'm going to come down here to Serena Harding. And I'm going to find the assignment that I know she um, worked on for the class. So I know that she was in psychology. It was an elective class. So I'm going to click on this upload button, that blue um, arrow. And then I am going to select whichever class it is. You might have to do this depending on, you know, if a student is in a couple different electives, you will have to choose which elective um, it is. Or if a student is in maybe two math classes or two English classes or whatever the case is, you might have to choose it. You might not have to, though, because um, if a student is only enrolled in, say, one history class, you won't have that choice. So then you'll choose the file. Um, and again, I will navigate to the specific file that I saved it in. Again, my, all my students are in my Google Drive. And I will find the document that we just saved, which is right here, Serena Harding, LP3 Work Sample 1 Psychology. And I just usually check to make sure this is the right one, which it is. And then I will click Open. Once you click Open, you come over here and click Archive Files. Um, and a new page will come up and then you have to click archive files again. So you have to, you do have to click archive files twice. Um, and then the screen will load here. Once it does, I usually scroll down to check and make sure that it did upload. Um, so I go to Serena Harding and I see that this is yellow here. The yellow means it is unapproved. So um, our office staff that does our compliance, um, checks for our compliance, once they um, have a chance to look through these work samples and approve them, this will turn green. But for now, it will stay yellow and that is fine. Okay, so this is how, um, you know, again, for weeks like one through three of the LP, I'm constantly um, doing this maybe once, once a day, once every other day um, as students are submitting work. Um, so for Serena, I know she's only working right now in psychology. So we only need uh, one work sample for her. Um, even though she has submitted a, a bunch of assignments in that class, only one is required. Um, now, if she was, say, working in psychology and intro to fashion design, um, we could upload uh, another work sample for that specific course. But um, since I know she's only currently working in psychology, we will just leave it as psychology. Um, the next video will show you how to then assign um, the work that she is completing in her gradebook. Um, but I'm going to pause this video here uh, because this is focused on just uploading the work samples. But the next video uh, you will be able to see on your quick guide will show you how to assign work in the gradebook. Thank you for listening and watching and have a great day.